Hi, my name is Mark Gordon. I'm a respiratory therapist and owner of Rutech Medical Equipment. I've been in the home medical equipment business since 1985. I have been involved in many accidents, researching and investigating causes of fires associated with oxygen use. You can find oxygen fires, oxygen tank explosions, just Google home oxygen fire and you'll find several recent accidents all across the country. Oxygen tanks have been around for many years. They're used in hospitals, homes, many locations. There is new technology now with portable oxygen concentrators that take air and separate out the oxygen and pass that on to the patient. That is much safer than carrying around a pressurized oxygen tank that holds 2,000 pounds of pressure when full. You think of a car tire, that only holds approximately 35 pounds of pressure. So an oxygen tank has much more potential for harm with that large amount of pressure in the tank. An oxygen concentrator, however, does not build up any pressure or store any large quantities of oxygen, it simply separates it out from the air. So the oxygen concentrator is a much safer device by itself, but add on pulsing to that where oxygen is only delivered in small pulses with every breath and you increase the safety even more. Oxygen itself is not flammable or explosive. It just helps other things burn. And things like oxygen tubing normally do not burn, but in the presence of oxygen, they burn very aggressively and vigorously. Oxygen tubing has been the source of the fire in most accidents I have been involved in researching. The tubing will catch fire usually from a patient smoking or falling asleep with a cigarette or possibly a candle or an open source of flame in the home. The oxygen tube will then burn very vigorously following the tubing all the way back to the source of oxygen. If it's a tank, that's even more dangerous. If it's a concentrator, it usually stops when it gets to the metal or non-flammable part of the oxygen concentrator. However, the floor or whatever else the tubing came in contact with on the way back to the source is also ignited and burns vigorously and can expand rapidly throughout the home. Patients being compromised frequently have difficulty dealing with this occurrence, get trapped, get burned initially when the fire starts can't remove the tubing from their person, causing more burns and very severe outcomes. I'm about to demonstrate oxygen tubing burning with a continuous source and with a pulsing source. Our first source is provided by an Eclipse portable concentrator. It is making oxygen, but it does not store any large amount of oxygen. When it's turned off or not running, there is no oxygen present. However, the tubing with a continuous flow of oxygen through it will burn very vigorously, as you see here. This will, this will continue to follow the tubing up until you cut off the source of oxygen. Turn the oxygen off or stop the flow, the fire stops immediately. Now this tube is receiving oxygen from a focused portable concentrator. This oxygen is only coming out in pulses. I have it set to deliver automatic pulses. To normal operation, however, that would only provide pulses when somebody initiates a breath. So that by itself will stop the source of oxygen as soon as the tubing is removed from the patient 
or if it should catch on fire, as soon as it's no longer being triggered by breaths, it will no longer be flowing oxygen. However, with the small bursts of oxygen, there's very little oxygen gathering or collecting in the tubing. It's just a brief burst of oxygen with every breath. And as you can see, you can see a brief burst or increase in fire with the pulses. But as soon as you remove the source of fire, fire is no longer aggressively burning. It goes out easily. And does not reignite with subsequent pulses of oxygen. There is still oxygen coming through, as you can see if I relight it. Very difficult to relight. Burns briefly as the pulse of oxygen comes through, but then goes out. And that's with pulsing automatically in the test mode. Normally, it would stop pulsing as soon as the patient is no longer sensed breathing the oxygen. So it's very safe. This is something that has long then overdue, a pulsing source of oxygen is sometimes considered unsafe to sleep with, but Medicare has approved all portable oxygen concentrators for use day and night, during the daytime, and sleeping. Most all portable concentrators are coded for 24-hour use and are reimbursed by Medicare for 24-hour use. And the only concern is that some pe people feel that the amount of oxygen will not be sufficient during sleep. But as the manufacturers recommend, and new tech will also provide with every new portable concentrator purchased, an overnight pulse oximeter to check your oxygen levels at night. So the point of this demonstration is to show significant safety advantage of a portable oxygen concentrator running in pulse mode as opposed to as opposed to a continuous source of oxygen flowing non-stop through the tubing causing a significant fire hazard if you have any further questions feel free to contact me anytime at new tech medical equipment and thank you for watching this video